everyone, this is Ellie, and here is a tarot exercise for all of you so that you may gain some insight on what themes to focus on in the month of November in this year, 2015. So I'd like you to first take a moment and check in with yourself and hear your inner voice, if you will, and choose number one, two, or three. All right, ready? So if you picked number one, your card is the Empress. And this is a cat deck, by the way. So this is a cat Empress here, sitting on her throne with some lavish jewelry. And I'm getting two things. So these are two possible themes for you to focus on this month. And the first one is are you sitting on your throne? This may be something for you to be more conscious of, this kind of theme of um, your own sovereignty, your own um, claiming leadership, if you will. So I think if you pick number one, this is what you are advised to focus on. Focus on whether or not you're sitting on your throne, so to speak. And also, I mentioned before that she looks very comfy, she's sitting on a plush cushion, she has jewelry. So I feel that the message for you is to enjoy some lavish things, enjoy some beauty, some luxury. Let yourself sensually enjoy things, the nice earthly things of life. So that's a lovely card. Now, if you've picked Number two, your card is the devil. And these are Italian cards. So here it's called Il Diavolo. And in this image, um, the cat here is quite um, set in his seat. So one thing about the devil card is that it can indicate being stuck in some kind of way. So something may be uh, stagnant, or there may be this rigidity of some kind. So with this card showing up, if you've chosen number two, then perhaps there's something that you are a bit stuck in or something that you're rigid about, and you are advised to um, let yourself move out of um, that stagnant state, if you will. So, yes, the devil card is what you are advised to focus on this month. And I also get, I'm also getting something about lethargy for some of you. So, um, if that's the case, um, encourage yourself to focus on moving around more a bit. Um, getting things in your life moving, um, maybe even your own body. Um, so that may be a side note for some of you as well. And if you've picked number three, the card that I've picked for you is La Mort, Death. And the cat here seems to be in a corner trying to avoid death. Covering, covering his eyes with his paw here. And so death is about um, not just allowing endings, but also transformation, transitions. So for some of you, this may be indicating a reluctance to allow something to end in your life or a reluctance for transition or transformation, allowing a phase to end, if you will. So if that's the case for you and if you've picked number three, then you are advised to allow some kind of transformation, some kind of ending of a phase and therefore transition to take place in your life. So if you would like and if you have a deck at home yourself, you could look more into the meanings of these cards and see what other insights may resonate for you or if you have a deck, you could um, look at the deck, I mean, sorry, look at the card and 
meditate on it even. See what images stick out to you um, with your deck that you use. But with this deck, which is a cat deck, um, those are the images that came up for me and that's my intuitive interpretation for you. But I do encourage you to look into the cards themselves and see what resonates for you. Thank you so much for watching. See you all next month. Bye.